In Friday's press review, we begin in Ghana with Ghanaian Times. Tragedy six Kalamaseya skill in mine pit at Odumbanso. And Vice President, former President Mahama, orders attend slain MPs one week. Observance funeral slated for November 27 to 29. The Chronicle Right. Gruesome murder of Vasema MP. Eyewitnesses identify two Harso Fidelity Bank killers. In Zimbabwe, Daily News is a story. Let bygone be bygones. Mpufu argues that Kukarundi was dealt with by 1987 Unity Accord and Supreme Court judge fired. In Kenya, the standard right, an angry man, defiant, deputy president decries broken promises, stalled projects and unfulfilled ambition by his own government, says the handshake between Uhuru and Raila has undermined development agenda. Daily Nation says, reveal Uhuru plan for power weekend. Alignment. President Kenyatta is set to meet the cabinet and Deputy President William Ruto at a retreat today as he and handshake partner Roy Laudinka prepared the ground for the unveiling of the Building Bridges Initiative report. In Uganda, Daily Monitor says, scramble for seat in 11th parliament. Mad clash for slot, hundreds of aspirants and turn up at the 145 domination centers countrywide to register interest to contest for their respective parliamentary seat on the first of the two-day event. In Cameroon, the Guardian Post daily write, SKP civil servant, Ambassonia supporters among Cameroonians deported from U.S. In Nigeria, the vanguard is a story. Federal Capital Territory, FCG, invokes COVID-19 rules, ban answers protests, and INEP fixes February 18 death for 2023 presidential election. The Guardian writes, Northern governors insist on SARS. Protesters defy threat. The punch is a story. Attacks, protests, ban. Lagos protesters hired bouncers, FCT minister under fire. And finally, I leave you with the Daily Sun is a story. SARS divides governors. An election to pick Buhari's successor holds February 2023. Goodbye. See you next week.